Alright, welcome back to the Middle of Honor 1 PS1 commentary walkthrough thing. It's the third episode. Uh, apparently this one's called Sewer Chase. And um, yeah, I'll let you read that if you want. You can pause that. If you want to read that, pause there. If you want to read that, pause there. What is that picture? What is that a picture of? Is that a... a mummy tomb? Is this the catacombs? I don't know what that is, but um... Yeah, I'm just going to go on. Maybe I'll see it, but... Anyways, um, yep, loading screen, you can skip that, lucky you, but, um, so, what do y'all want to talk about today? Um, I just talked about some of my uh, poker background in my Crash Bandicoot 2 episode, but, um, I don't know if you want to continue that now, or uh, I'll tell y'all more about it later. Let's just look at this great scenery here. Oh, what is this? Uh, I gotta get used to these controls. Okay, there you go. I was playing some Modern Warfare 3 right now. Don't hate me for playing it because it came free with this PS3. And yes, I bought this game off the PS1 network. Yes, I know I could be using PC and using fraps instead of this PS3 PBR combo. But, uh. Wait. Do I have any other guns? Do I have something? I do have the SMG, but I remember I wasted it in the last one, just firing at the tank in anger. <laughs> I was hoping they at least reset it for me, but no, no. I hear Nazis. Hey, puppy, come on. I tried to throw the dog in by, <laughs> by coming out, but I almost blew myself up in the process. Hmm. Huh. Can I get in here? Ah, I pressed X like it was gonna jump. <laughs> Check out the bullet hole there. <laughs> the bullet holes are just floating in the air. <laughs> you gotta love the year 2000. And that glitch there too. Take advantage of the glitches, they don't have them anymore. Or at least most games don't. SMG time, this is not an SMG. Look at those sharp assault rifle bullets. There we go. I remember I always hated this level because the dogs always get me, but now they... It doesn't phase me anymore. <laughs> Can I blow this up? Huh, did it go through? Yeah, I did. And I have yet to take uh, damage. I got some grenades now and some more ammo. I just spazzed out right there. I've never been hit by one of those. This guy sometimes falls like that, firing the rest of his clip. But he always turns to the side before it. Me. First time I got shot. <laughs> Why does this gun always shoot upwards? Maybe it's the kick. Wait, was that the picture I was looking at back in that screen? Okay. Ah, I can't even get in. There we go. Oh my god. How did they know I love? getting my pump on. I love using pump pump action shotguns in any game. I love using the shotguns in Borderlands and Modern Warfare 3. And this one I don't know. I like making it up close and personal and just blasting away. <laughs> See, he always turns to the side and shoots. Come on. Stay down. Huh, let me see all the floating bullet holes now. <laughs> I don't know why, when I was little I always thought that bullet thing in the upper 
right corner. I always thought of it it was a flashlight or a battery. I never thought of it as a shotgun shell. I thought the shotgun shells had to be the obligatory red with the yellow cap. Huh. Behind me? Who's shooting? Above me? that patriotic music right there as I blast these Nazis away. What? Where did that dog come from? <laughs> I was running away from this dog. What? Where did he come from? Oh, I see. That thing connects to this part up here, and they just jump down. They tried to be cool and jump down. They couldn't shoot me from up there, or they couldn't come down this ramp. That was uh, pretty smart, though. I'll go hand it to him. How do all my bullets get over there? No, oh, shooting these guys up there. Rifle rounds. I don't care about rifle rounds right now. Hmm. <coughs> What are the objectives anyway? Okay, case weapon cash. Card G3 attach case. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know when I did that. <laughs> oh. Hmm, some water. The healing powers of water. Well, I do use water for a lot of uh, things. Headaches, stomach aches. Any any you know, cold or flu, whatever. I just drink water, and it always helps. <laughs> Gotta follow the pattern. Well, I think I should save some shells for next mission. If this isn't the last last mission, if there is one more. Alright, we're coming down now. Hmm. Yeah, shoot that way. Some shells. Rally round the family with a pocket full of shells. Whoever you were screaming about is pretty lucky though. Wish I had a pocket full of shells. And I wish I can do a DJ Scratch solo on my guitar as well. Just like Tom Morello in that band. Any Rage Against Machine fans here? I remember I used to be a huge Rage Against the Machine fan. Back when I was a pseudo-intellectual liberal. I'm still slightly left of center, but uh, I've shaped up a lot since then. That's what college does to you, man. You become a college freshman and you think you know the world. But anyway, I was a Rage fan way back in middle school, I remember. I think it was elementary when I first saw them. I think it was the year 2000 and they were performing at the MTV Awards. And they Formed uh, testify, and I was like, "Hey, this band's pretty cool. Like, you know, it's got the the funk metal thing going. It was pretty cool." But uh, yeah, I still listen to them every now and then. Right now, I'm listening to Boards of Canada, Aphex Twin, Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, one of my favorite albums ever. And um, who else right now? 
Still listen to Wilco, The Roots, The Strokes, Eminem, Beach Boys and The Beatles. Yeah, listen to, still listening to a lot of stuff right now. But, um, yeah, right now I'm passing the time with video games now, so I'll let you watch this. I don't know if you could hear it, so you can watch and listen if you want. But the fight for Europe was just beginning, and not everything was going according to plan. Wait, I think that means the mission was over. I could have used the rest of my shotgun shells. Come on, secret code discovered. Oh, because I got the three gold stars in all three missions. I got a medal, too. My gunnery evaluation is still arm slinger. I think that means, uh, yeah, I shoot people's arms off. Cool. Objects destroyed. One. 94% accuracy, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, I think I get to see a film now. I think I earned a film. I think it's just a documentary little thing. I'll let y'all watch right now. If you don't want to, go ahead and skip it. But um, if you want to, just stick around. Let me just say real quick. My name's Remus, by the way. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to finish this walkthrough commentary thing. I'll get better at the commentating. Trust me, right now I'm kind of, you know, a little bit nervous. So that's kind of flattering to you guys, you know, knowing that y'all make me nervous. So yeah, I mean, come on, I'd be flattered too. But um, yeah, let me go to this. Um, let me see. No, no, no. I need to go to the gallery. Okay, let's get it. G3. G3. Like a G6. Like a G6. It's reminding me of right now. Okay, let's watch. I'll be quiet now. This operation is being planned as a success. We cannot afford oh, to fail. Dwight Eisenhower With was insane. The tone for D -Day was set. He wasn't all what you thought he was. Trust me. Look it up. Gliders, whose pilots had only one chance for a successful landing. Thousands more travel to France aboard Higgins boats, amphibious landing craft that were the key to the Allied triumph on D-Day. But the fight for Europe was just beginning, and not everything was going according to plan. Yeah, the moment D-Day happened, it was pretty much over for the Nazis. Um, I was, you know, the turning point. Turning point. And uh, all right, making you know, a. A lot of people underestimate uh, what what Russia did for the war. Russia played a huge part in the war. Everybody thinks it was just America, 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 but it, it it's a world war. Okay, it's the making of Gestapo agent. Who? Little matrixy there. University of Michigan. Patterson's transcript. Oh, I got a C minus in German. Oh, but pretty good at everything else. But uh, mission art, searching the head hedgerows. Mm hmm, pretty nice for for the time being. It was a uh, pretty good. Oh, the nice picture there, dude. I wouldn't mind having that as my PC background. Officer candidate school. Summer. Field ratings. Yeah, all oh, A's. Combat shotgun. Yeah. Demolitions. All weather combat. Basic conversational German. Signal corp certificate. Morse code. I guess it was important at the time. Engine repair. Okay. Mission art. Dub. U. Eisen under siege. Cool. Nice, nice. Who drew those, man? That's was, that was pretty nice. Well, um, I think it's coming up to the 15 minute mark. So, um, yeah, I'll let you all go and uh, subscribe. I'll be doing, finishing this walkthrough commentary thing. And then I'll finish the Crash Bandicoot 2 walkthrough commentary thing. Then I'll do the Civilization 3 walkthrough with the uh, on easy. Then I'll play the hardest difficulty. It'll be pretty short because I'll get taken over pretty quickly. And y'all could just hear me rage if you want. If you hate me that badly. But, um, yeah, then I'll even do the first SOCOM. And, uh, yeah. So, subscribe. See you in the next video.